guys it's me again i'm doing another style today today i'm calling this the midday glam because it was in the afternoon when i decided to do my makeup and as you can see i already prepped and primed my face i already did my eyebrows and now i am priming my eyes and i'm using the maybelline concealer stick in the color 115 and i'm using the beauty blender to blend in shades of the concealer onto my eyes. I'm also using a eyeshadow brush to like blend in, in the concealer further. Now I'm using tape to section off and give me a sharp cat eye. Okay, now that I got the tape somewhat figured out and I got it at the angle that I want, I'm going into my Kat Von D palette and I'm using mauve. I'm also using brown. I'm using a burgundy color over the mauve and I'm going into the tear ducts of my eyes using her sparkling white. And I'm just going over both eyelids over with the mauve color. And I keep repeating this step over and over. Again, I use a lot of product on my eyeshadow because my eyes are very dark. And I have to keep putting the product in just to get the color that I want it to be. Now I'm using the corner of my eyes. I'm using the dark brown and I'm just making it, making it very concentrated in the corners and lightly spreading it over the mauve. Because I don't want a heavy smoky eye. I'm trying to be very light and gentle. And now I'm using a fluffy brush, well, a fluff brush, actually. And I'm just packing in the burgundy color over that. And I'm going into my tear ducts with the sparkling white because I like how my tear ducts look when I put white in the corner of my eyes. With the tear ducts of my eyes. After this, you'll see me go in with my eyeliner pen, the marker eyeliner. And I'm giving a small cat eye. I'm not going to do a strong one. I want it, Like I said, I want to keep this look very light, like a wearable everyday look. And I'm just using my pinup mascara by NYX. I like this mascara because it really does define my eyelashes. And then I try to attempt to take the tape off of my eyes. As you can see, I gave myself a sharp look in the end. And then I just do a little color correcting with Makeup Forever Step 1 in the color orange to go over my dark spots. And I just blend that in with my Beauty Blender. And now I put some of the 115 concealer under my eyes because again, under my eyes are very, very dark. So I try to blend it out as possible. Now I'm going in with my Makeup Forever foundation in the color 175. And I'm just blending that in. 
And I'm going to use a beauty blender for that. And I got this beauty blender, well, foundation brush I got from Amazon, I believe. And it works pretty well. It's kind of awkward at first, but you do get used to it. And I believe it has more coverage to use than using a foundation brush or a steeple brush or even one of those big flat foundation brushes. I believe that this gives you more coverage and you use less product when you use this type of brush as well. But you can use whatever works for you. This works for me, so I like to use this type of brush better. I will invest and get in an RT set, which is soon. But I like using this kind of brush because it's better coverage for me. Now I'm going in with more concealer with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contouring and Highlighting Kit. And I'm using her, I guess that color is camel. I have to look at the back of the box again to see what color that is. But it's the direct or the exact color of my skin. So I use that for more coverage for whatever spots I couldn't cover with the foundation. And then I just go over that with the highlighting. The same contouring kit, and I just put more under my eyes, on my nose, my chin, and also above my cupid's bow to give it a more definite highlight. And that's a contouring and highlighting makeup brush that I got from e.l.f., and I love it. It gives me better coverage that way instead of using a small blending brush. And I'm using that same 115 to give me a, a better highlight under my eyes and on my nose to give it a more definitive look. Ooh, I got bags. I got rid of those bags. Okay, and once I've done that, I start to blend it in to give it a more natural look. And once I've blended in, you'll see me go into the contour. I did set my face with Benai powder, but I think I edited that frame so you didn't see me do it. But you can see the powder residue underneath my eyes that I did set my highlights. My highlights. Now I'm just contouring my nose, my cupid's bow my cheekbones and the temples and slightly above my chin now i don't like to contour my nose very very thin because i do not have a small nose my nose is kind of wide so i wanted to keep that natural look on my nose instead of giving me a thin straight nose so i gave it a more wider effect because my nose is kind of wide And I'm just blending in that contour some more with the eyeshadow brush that I use strictly for contouring my nose. And then I just blend in the powder with my face brush. And blend in the contour with the same face brush. And now I'm just going over my highlight to give it a more definite look and I am doing the mascara over again because I did get some product on my lashes and I'm doing my bottom lashes as well now I'm going in with the um I believe I was using Sephora's blush in a golden color and it didn't come out right so i had to go over it with anastasia's beverly hills glow kit in that golden color because the highlight wasn't dark enough 
And I also use that brush and I use it on my nose. I use it on my cubers bow, my chin and my forehead. Basically the areas where I highlight, I put blush there so I can have a better glowy look. Now I'm applying my lashes that I get from, where did I get those lashes from? I believe I got those lashes from Target. But it's a Vegas Nate brand and I believe the, the set is called Glamour. I love her lashes, so I just use her lashes often. And I love her glamour set, so. I did have trouble putting in my left lash. It wasn't cooperating with me, so you see me keep going over and over trying to fix it. And after I applied my lash, I applied some more mascara to my lower lashes. Because I like my lashes to look full at the bottom as well as the top. My, I'm using Smashbox eyeliner pen under my eyes and I use the color purple and I'm going over my contour and the areas that I touch with my nail to give it a more look a better look actually now I'm using NYX nude lipstick and I decided that I hate nude. I absolutely hate nude lipstick. So I went in with a darker brown as a primitive liner around my lips. Because I hate the way I look with bright, bright lips. And that's my finished look.